long a line y equals to mx plus c to form it's supposed to be to form r2 to form r2 that is the second image of negative 2 8 find the equation of the mirror line you find this equation so what you need to understand is that the negative 3 quarter turn is the same as negative 270 degrees or we can say is the same as positive 90 degrees and for positive 90 degrees a point a b rotated about x y becomes negative b plus this x the center of rotation plus y comma a minus x plus y that is a formula you need to understand a formula you need to understand that if you are rotating about positive quarter turn this is a positive quarter turn positive 90 degrees we say it's a positive quarter turn and a positive quarter turn is the same as uh, a negative uh, 270 degrees or a negative three quarter turn so this is what gives you the image and therefore meaning that uh, r36 it was to form the first image r1 to be now negative 6 plus the center was 1 plus negative uh, 2 is the same as minus 2 comma then it becomes 3 the other one uh, uh, becomes now a a in our a is in this case is 3 becomes 3 then uh, 3 minus uh, minus the center that is minus uh, minus we said minus uh, x so it is minus uh, minus in this case 1 then uh, plus is supposed to be plus 2 minus 2 plus minus 2 is the same as minus 2 so negative 6 plus 1 gives you negative 5 and negative 5 minus 2 gives you negative 7 and 3 minus 1 gives you 2 2 minus 2 gives you 0 so our second image the first image was supposed to be negative 7 0 and then the second image we are told after it does an diagonal reflection it becomes a negative 2 8 that is the second image but you understand if uh, this was the line of reflection y equals to mx plus c if the, the, the point negative 7 0 was here it was reflected through here and remember the line of reflection is at the mid drop between the two points because the distance from here to the line of to the line of reflection equals to the distance from here to the second image to the image that one we know from the laws of reflection and therefore if this is was the line of reflection and you have a point negative 70 to give you the image here we need the line we, the, the line is perpendicular the line is perpendicular to the image line the image line and when you change this they are perpendicular and when they are perpendicular the gradient here equals to that is m1 times m2 gives you negative one so we can easily find the gradient of this line because we have this point and this the gradient becomes negative um first of all we can uh, find the midpoint because the midpoint is the point whereby this image line will pass through so we can find the midpoint and we know the midpoint is x1 plus x2 or over 2 into comma or y1 plus y2 over 2 that is negative 7 plus negative 2 over 2 8 plus 0 over 2 that gives you negative 9 over 2 negative 4.5 and 4 that is the midpoint here and that is where this line image line will pass through that is where the line of reflection will pass through the point the negative 4.5 and 4 so the gradient we use the gradient of this line first of all so that we are able now to find the gradient of this line if the gradient of this line becomes like 8 minus 0 or over or over minus 2 plus minus 2 minus 7 is the same as minus 2 minus minus 7 is the same as minus 2 plus 7 which gives you 5 so this is 8 over 5 is the gradient of this line and therefore the other line becomes the negative reciprocal so the negative of the reciprocal of this is a negative 5 that is m2 becomes a negative 5 because they are perpendicular becomes a negative 5 over 8 meaning that negative 5 over 8 if now we find the equation of this using the midpoint as the point where this mirror line is passing through so it becomes a negative 5 over 8 equals to y minus y minus 4 or over x minus it is x minus minus 4.5 is the same as x plus 4.5 
So we cross multiply it is 8 into y, that is 8y minus 32 equals to negative 5x minus 22.5. That is uh, 5 times 4.5 gives you minus, um, minus 5 times 4.5 gives you minus 22.5. So that uh, if, uh, if we put like terms together, 8 and then, remember I want to divide by y again. I, rem I want to remain as it was here, as you were given here. That is what I want it to be. So what I'll do, I'll take the 32, the right hand side. If 32, we take the right hand side, it becomes plus. So 32 minus 22.5, then uh, we divide by 8. You'll get it as 19 out of 16, 19 over 16. And we also take, um, uh, 8, that is a negative 5, we divide by 8, it remains with uh, negative 5 over 8x plus 19 over 16 gives us a, as y, and that is the equation of the mirror line. That is the equation of the mirror line. I know the equation is somehow tricky, but uh, you have made it so easy for you now. We go to question number 8. State the integral value that satisfies the following simultaneous inequalities. 